Uh, Chris Chinock here for Display Central. I'm in the Ostendo uh, booth here at uh, Display Week in the iZone. Uh, it's been a while since I've had a chance to talk with Ostendo, and they have made in incredible progress. Uh, what we're looking at here is actually a, uh, a light field display, and they've got a diffuser in front of this, which I'll move in just a minute. Uh, what you can see is there's actually a, um, uh, a dice cube that's, uh, that's rotating there and imaging on this diffuser, which is about uh, two inches of, or so in front of the display. Uh, so that proves it's uh, creating an, uh, a real image uh, in space there. So it is a real uh, volumetric uh, light field display. And uh, uh, what's powering this thing is uh, a, a, a number of uh, micro LED uh, devices. They call them quantum photonic imagers. Uh, and so what this is is basically um, uh, red, green, and blue LEDs, very small LEDs uh, fabricated uh, on a backplane uh, with a, an optic above it that collimates uh, uh, the light output, which is very different from, uh, from normal uh, LED devices. Uh, kind of like uh, what Luminous does uh, with their, their photonic structure to create more collimated light with an LED. Uh, they're doing here, uh, but, but on, a, on a micro display level. Uh, same kind of concept, uh, but again, much, much uh, finer pitch. Uh, what, they're, what they're showing here uh, in another part of the demo are red, green, and blue uh, versions of these things uh, in XGA resolution uh, with a, uh, a pixel pitch of of 10 microns. That's red, green, and blue on a 10 micron pixel pitch. And they showed actually a prototype uh, of a, a, 7, 12, a 1280 by 720 uh, imager that will have a 5 micron pixel pitch. This fits literally on the tip of your finger uh, and will be, could be integrated into a number of different uh, products at that level. So uh, behind this diffuser, uh, what you can see is uh, now we'll reveal uh, the display itself. And what this is is uh, a series of, uh, of these little imagers now uh, that are put into an array. Uh, and what you have is, uh, where's my numbers here? Uh, this is uh, um, an array of, uh, I'm sorry, there's th there's so there's a, a bunch of these um, uh, micro imagers inside there, and on top of them are a number of uh, of lenses. So you've got a uh, a four by two array here, and, and each array has got uh, twenty by sixteen lenses on top of it. So a total of eighty by thirty two, uh, and that makes um, that makes a, l a lot of little micro LEDs in there. And with the pr processing that they do, they've got uh, twenty five hundred views. Uh, and so w what you're seeing, it's a very hard to capture this on the video, of course, uh, but what, what is being shown uh, are three, di uh, three dice rotating in, uh, in three different volumes, one in front of the uh, screen, one at, at the screen plane or d the display plane, and one in back of it. And when that, that diffuser in front, you can see it's actually creating that, that real image. Um, so this is monochrome. Um, but the plans are, of course, to make uh, larger uh, versions of this and full color versions of this, and uh, I would think ideally uh, with those uh, five micron devices uh, as well. So this is exactly the type of technology that's going to be required for light field displays or something of this ilk. Uh, you have to create, obviously, lots and lots of these uh, uh, pixels that can emit uh, uh, with lenses on top of them if you're going to create a light field display that has any kind of um, um, uh, resolution and, and imaging capability. And this also has, by the way, horizontal and vertical parallax, so extremely impressive uh, demo. Uh, Chris Chinock here for Display Central.